All right. Hello, all you beautiful, wonderful, amazing T people doing a, a triple live Facebook, Instagram and uh, Facebook, Instagram and YouTube. So they're all going live. So if you want to listen to on one of the other platforms, then go for it today. I got in some extremely expensive teas. They are freshly made. It is the Eastern Beauty, Oriental Beauty time period. And I'm going to test them out. And hopefully, hopefully, one of these teas will be a winner. I'm hoping one of these teas will be a winner. Now, they have different prices, right? So these two teas have different prices, but I'm not going to look at the prices. So I'm not going to look at the prices. I'm going to mix them up. I have no idea what the prices are. I'm just going to mix them up. And <clears throat> I'm going to try out these teas. Now, Eastern Beauty, Oriental Beauty. What is up with Eastern Beauty, Oriental Beauty? What is that tea? Well, it is a tea that is, it's an oolong. It's a bug bitten oolong. And it's from a kind of a weird area of Taiwan. And we'll talk about why this area of Taiwan is pretty weird, uh, but it is. It's it's a really, it's a weird, weird area of Taiwan. And why is it a weird area of Taiwan? Well, because it's nothing much of anything. It's not very high. It's not very low. It's not very clean. It's not very dirty. It's not, it's not really anything. The people there are not particularly special. They're not particularly good. They're not particularly bad. It's like, <laughs> it really is an area of Taiwan that is just mediocre. It's a mediocre area of Taiwan. What's fascinating about this mediocre area of Taiwan is they do produce probably pound for pound the most expensive tea in Taiwan. And why they do it is because they are the most skilled tea processors, right? They are amazingly, amazingly, amazingly skilled tea processors. And so when you're looking at what this tea is that I have in front of me, right? So the Oriental Beauty, the Eastern Beauty, you have a tea that is processed in such a specific and skillful way that if they mess it up their entire year, they basically make no money. Now, what do I mean by that? This area of Taiwan is mediocre. It's not high. It's not low. It's not particularly fertile. It's not particularly not fertile. It's just like, it's it's just drive-through territory, right? It's just sort of Passover territory. It's not anything special, which means that they can grow tea all year round, but the only tea they actually make money from is the bug-bitten teas. And that only happens in June. Now in June, they can sell teas for, you know, a thousand dollars a kilogram, a dollar a gram from the farms, right? So a dollar a gram directly from the farm. Just amazingly, amazingly, amazingly expensive teas. But if they mess it up, they get basically nothing. <laughs> they get basically nothing. Um, and so, so what you have here are you know, like it's just it's just high stakes and they can't really make decent teas in the wintertime. Uh, it's, it's just basically right now. Now, uh, this particular garden, I met them at the, the tea, the tea show. And so I've been talking to them all year. And so I'm pretty happy that I got these teas in right now. Pretty happy I got these teas in right now because what the deal is, they've been they've been on me because they say, OK, well, I don't know. OK, we'll send you these teas. But. We have to do the competition. So I'm going to send you these teas. You tell me right away which tea you want. If you want a tea, you got to tell me as soon as you try it. So they send it out on Monday. It's Wednesday. They literally just arrived in the shop. So I've been I've been looking down the stairs all day. They just arrived in the shop. I'm taking them up. Fire up the live stream. Let's drink it on the live stream and let's see whether either of these are worth it. And either way. Whichever one I don't want, or if I do want, I don't know how they're actually going to do it. But if I don't buy it, it's going into the competition. These are competition level Eastern Beauty teas, and so I'm, I'm quite I'm quite excited about it. Right, I'm, I'm quite excited about it uh, because 
you know, competition level Eastern Beauty teas are are relatively rare. And they're relatively rare because if they win, they're like five dollars a gram. Right. If they don't win, then they're still like, you know, 75 cents to a dollar a gram, right? Because they're in, they put them in fancy packaging and blah, 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 blah. Right. Anyways, the point is we got them pre-competition. So let's see whether they are going to be the $5. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not really a judge, but we're going to see how good they are here. So I'm going to sample them out. So let's try it out. So already I'm starting to get the, the classic flavor and smell coming off these teas. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Let's try it out. Okay. That's worth money. <laughs> that's, that's worth money for sure. Um, now this has only been what? like a couple minutes of, of, uh, of trying them out to really get the, the, the flavor of, of these types of teas. You really do need to steep them for a long period of time. Here we go, let's see this one. Isn't that interesting? Now, what are the flavors I'm getting out of these teas? They are 100% Eastern Beauty teas. They are, they're from like the, the township, right? They're from the place, right? This is, this is as authentic an Eastern beauty as you can possibly, possibly get. And the flavor coming off of these teas are exactly that. There is the, the floral, the sweetness, the... At first glance, I like this one better. But let's let's try this one over here too. They are as authentic as you can possibly get. They are beautiful. They are They're just that flavor that you can only get from the from Eastern Beauty. And I'm trying to figure out one of these is more expensive than the other. And I sort of mixed them up, so I'm going to see if I can tell what the difference is here. So <clears throat> what's the flavor? And this is a good exercise because usually I don't carry this style of tea. And the reason I don't carry this style of tea is because the people who make this style of tea can make so much money from this style of tea that for me to buy it and resell it is really tough because I have to know the people, I have to like the people and all of that. And because they make so much money from the tea that they make, I usually don't like the people. <laughs> I, usually don't, I usually don't enjoy spending time with them. Now, with these two teas, if I'm going to guess which is the more expensive one, I'm going to guess this one is the more expensive one, even though this one kind of tastes a little better. And the reason is, is because... In this one, in the background, there's a little bit of a, a bite, like a And in a minute, we'll go through and we'll actually pick out the leaves and we can see if I, I can find it. And what happens when you're looking at the teas that are that are bug bitten? There's two, well, there's probably a lot more than two, but there's two that I can tell really easily from looking at the leaves. There is the, the actually one I can, I, two that I can tell whether they're there or not. One, the green leaf hopper, you can't actually tell from the leaf bites, like when, when after the leaves are processed, you can taste it. Then the other one is the thrip. And the thrip, you can actually see the, the bug bites, and it looks like, like cigarette burns, for lack of a better way of describing it. And this tea has a touch of the bitterness. It's got like equal parts bitterness and, and uh, bug bites in this one. The two different bug bites are in there. Whereas this one, it's a little bit lighter, just a touch lighter on the green leaf hopper.
but the thrip didn't get it. The thrip didn't get it. So it's not as bitter at all. Now, at first glance, I much preferred this one. But then as it's going through, there's more of that, that bite in the back end. Whereas this one just doesn't have that bite. It's just crystal clean and clear all the way through. It's gorgeous. It's really, really let me just let me just double check. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is this is the more expensive one. And it is just all around. Now this is an expensive tea, but I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy this tea. And I'm, the reason I'm gonna buy this tea is because uh, getting access to a tea like this, which very well could win, right? This tea really could win, is extremely rare. Usually you don't get this tea until it's already, like it's, it's already, the prices have been jacked jacked just jacked right and this this tea is going to cost me hundreds and hundreds of dollars per kilogram right hundreds and hundreds of dollars per kilogram um and you know this one this one is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and then this one is hundreds and hundreds <laughs> this this was almost four four hundreds um <laughs> per kilogram and this one this one is 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 a little bit less not very much less but a little bit less and the reason it's a little bit less is like i said i think it's been bitten by the thrip so the thrip got it the green leaf hopper and the thrip but i'm gonna get this i'm gonna get it now what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna, I'm gonna hold these up to the to the uh to the camera here and yeah, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be spending a lot of money on this tea. But take a look. Let's see if it shows up in the you can sort of see there. I, I need better lighting here, obviously. Uh, that's one of my plans, and I always start doing it, but then I never finish doing the plans and making it better. But you can see there, that's your classic, absolutely classic sort of Eastern beauty look to the leaves. And the dry leaf, like, okay, so one of the reasons why I haven't been getting uh, Eastern Beauty over the years is because years ago I had the one that the Nanhu Mountain Eastern Beauty. And I don't know anybody out there if you've actually tried that tea, but there is no tea that I've ever had in my life that was even close to that. And that cost like three times as much as this. <laughs> right? So it was extraordinarily expensive, right? Like just insanely expensive and it was worth every penny i think i sold it for like two dollars a gram or something like that uh but it was worth every penny it was insane so and the, now I'm, I'm always going back to that team being like well it's not the same and i'm like well actually for the price point it's okay it's okay <laughs> right <laughs> um so uh anyways it's uh so you can see here Right, so there's the the other one. This one's not quite as expensive, um, but you can see it sort of looks the same. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get it because I, I need I need an Eastern Beauty, and this one it's not cheap. It'll probably be maybe about seventy five cents a gram, something like that. It won't be it won't be a full dollar. Probably about 75 cents a gram, something like that. Uh, but this is, uh, you know, this is a competition level Eastern Beauty. The second steep, clear, smooth. I wish there was more um, sort of bite to these teas. I wish there was more like a, like a deepness to it, but I can't complain. <laughs> it's great. It's, it's a beautiful tea. They're not meant to have that deep bite, right? And they don't have that deep bite for a lot of different reasons. Uh, one is the cultivar, right? So they use a, a low elevation chin chin, 
uh, Oolong, Qingqing Dan Mao, which doesn't have a lot of depth to it. It's, uh, it's more in the upfront, right? So it doesn't, doesn't have all that much depth. It has some for sure, but it's not all that much depth. And uh, the other reason is because of the way that they produce the teas. A lot of the flavors are going to be out all in the upfront, right? So, so for example, the oolongs, they roll them into tight balls, right? Tight ball, that, that flavor is going to go for a long time. Whereas with this, you know, not so much. Anyways. With the second steep, this is... The second steep, this is getting better. But in the background, no, no. There are there's too many thrip bites. Oh, isn't that? I mean, the life of a farmer, right? The life of a farmer. Okay, so a cloud just covered the sun. I'm going to go turn on the light just to make sure that. It's okay. Problem is, it's a, it's a fluorescent light, so it goes bzzz. Now that I mention it, you guys will probably notice it. But anyways, how many people actually watch these videos? <laughs> Hardcore tea nerds, right? Hardcore tea nerds. I got I to gotta up the production value. And hopefully I'll do that. Well, I went to the, the river the other day, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to do live streams at the river pretty soon, which is going to be pretty exciting. So I'm going to pull out some of these leaves. I'm going to see if I can find some thrip bites because I'm pretty sure there's thrip bitiness on these leaves. And that makes it so that that's for this, this bitterness that I'm tasting. Um, I'm not really seeing any, but I mean, just look at the, it's so beautiful, you know, like what, what they're actually, what they, what they, you know, the pick, right? It's always this, this tiny little pick. Just absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous teas. Gorgeous teas. But I think I've decided. I decided what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend a large amount of money on this tea. And I'm going to buy a bunch of it. And I'm going to finally have, you know, I'm finally, I'm finally going to have the, uh, All right, I'm finally going to have an Eastern Beauty on the site that's that's worthy of an Eastern Beauty on the site. And uh, yep, there we go. So, do we have any questions about anything that has happened so far? Some updates. What's going to come in the next little while? Snow Miss Gabba is going to be released on Sunday. So Snow Miss Gabba is going to be released on Sunday. This tea is going to be released on Sunday. This tea is going to be released on Sunday, which is a 1982 Dong Ding, which maybe I'll do a live stream in the next couple of days with it. It's really quite a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's actually, I'm not a big fan of the, the old Dong Dings, but this one's actually really good. Uh, actually, actually, it's an expensive tea, right? Obviously, it's an expensive tea, but I bought it without actually having tasted it. Uh, the the person who sells me my my aged teas, I, I trust her a lot. She's she's quite smart and very very good with the teas. And uh, she says, I've got I've got four different Dong Ding Dong Dings from the eighties, and I'm like, just pick me the best one, I'll buy it. And so. <laughs> So I bought it and I've actually been sitting on it for a couple of months. And I just took it out and tried it for the first time. And uh, it's really, it's really nice. It's really nice. So on Sunday, there's going to be 1982 Dong Ding. There's going to be a uh, conventional Bao Zong. There's going to be the Snow Mist Gaba. And there's going to be this right here. This tea will be on the site. I'm going to get in touch with them. And this is, this is a competition level. This is a competition level Eastern Beauty. Isn't that fun? It is expensive. 
without a doubt, it is expensive. But, you know, when you're, when you're picking teas like this, right, when your tea is picked like this, I mean, what are you going to do? All right, that's it for today. Any questions about anything, let me know. Um, oh, I'm going to be uh, going to the gardens tomorrow. So I'm going to be going to the tea gardens tomorrow. So if anybody wants, uh, maybe I'll put some questions out. But I'm going to be going visiting tea gardens tomorrow. So I'm going to be taking a, a, I'll do a live stream in the garden that I usually do live streams in, in Hawaii and down here. So that's what I'll do tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go pick up some honey fragrance black tea. And yeah, as always, thank you everybody so much for buying teas. Anybody who's bought tea from us, thank you so much. It literally goes to two things, buying more tea and putting food into the extremely hungry bellies of my children. But um, yeah, I think that's it for now. So that'll be on Sunday. We'll be conventional bout song, Eastern Beauty, 1982, Dong Ding, and 1982 Dong Ding, and the last one will be the Snow Mist Gaba. All right, it's ready to go. And I gotta go get my light fixed because that's really annoying. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Any questions about this, let me know. I hope you have an amazing afternoon, morning, evening, night, wherever it is in the world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next live stream.